We have just witnessed one of the fastest 1500 meter races in history and no one would have predicted it a few weeks ago. This is of course the 1500 meters just ran by Jakominga Britson at the Monaco Diamond League. And we're not saying no one would have predicted it because he's incapable of running so fast, but because just over a month ago he was beaten by Josh Kerr at the Bauman Mile in Eugene and last month he had to dive across the line to beat Timothy Chariot. Jakob had four months of interrupted training due to injury over the winter, so there's some question marks around if he would be able to replicate the same shape or better than he was last year when he ran 327 1500 meters and broke the 2000 meter and two mile world records. And with his new 1500 meter time of 326.73, Jakob has seemed to answer that question himself. We know Monaco is a fast track and we did see a women's 2000 meter world record from Australia's Jessica Hall at the same meet, but I don't think anyone was expecting Jakob to run this fast since his previous races this season have been a step back from his form last year but now we know Jakob is back to his best this adds a lot of excitement to the Olympic Games as it seems we'll have a showdown between Jakob Ingebrigtsen the current Olympic champion and Josh Kerr the current world champion. Josh Kurt has probably pushed himself into the seat as most people's favourites within the last 10 months or so, but Jakob looks as if his newfound dad strength has taken him to another level. The main factor for most people believing Josh is the favourite is a consistent criticism of Jakob that he only runs at his best when there are pacemakers, which of course it's undeniable he's pretty much untouchable in those type of races, but people fear he is vulnerable when it comes to championship racing. This was a question he was asked after his 1500 meter race in Monaco, and here's what he had to say. You're, you're probably like one of the best in the world, if not the best, when it comes to races that have a, a pacer, but that's not gonna happen in the Olympics. So how do you feel about that? Are you nervous at all? How many pacers were there in, uh, in Rome? And uh, in Tokyo? And in Eugene? And in uh, Budapest? Confident that you can run your own race and you're taking risks? The biggest difference is that I'm always there. So of course sometimes it doesn't always go uh, go the way that I want, but sometimes it do. Uh, so for the people that only show up once, of course it's easy to be lucky and uh, succeed. But what's very difficult is to succeed in 100 of 100 races. 